Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to add search to your Flutterflow applications. We're going to use a service called Algolia, which makes it really easy to search all of your records by either name or location. And it's also relatively affordable. So for most of your purposes, I think the free plan is going to be good. It's up to 10,000 records and 10,000 search requests per month. So now let's take a look at my test project. So what we're going to want to search for, for the purpose of this video, is the cities collection. So I've added all the world's most populous cities to this collection, and with their country, country code, name, and population, and of course, location. Because Algolia does let you search by location as well. So let's create an Algolia account. Okay, so now we'll just follow the instructions. We can set our location to, to wherever we like. For me, I'll set US West. And now we're ready to create a new index. So if we go back, my collection is called Cities. And that's exactly what we will call our index. So each index will let you search for that collection. So now let's rename our application. Right now it's unnamed app. So we'll go to the settings page and rename it. I'll just call it FF test for now. And as we can see, there's currently no records in, in our index right now. So what you'll want to do in order to get all of your data into this Algolia index is use this extension. So search with Algolia. It's a really handy Firebase extension that I'll walk you through how to install. So for the collection path, we're going to use cities because that's, of course, um, our collection name. And we're going to include all fields, so we can leave that blank. And of course, for the Algolia index, we've also named it cities. Now for the application ID, you can get it either from the URL or from the, the left-hand panel. And we'll also have to create an API key just for Firestore with all of those permissions there. And I'll show you guys how to do that now. Just go to API keys and add an additional API key. Right now we only have search and a basic usage one, so we'll have to create a new one just for Firestore. And now we'll add all of the permissions that we want to give this API key, as recommended by the Firebase extension. Cool. So now we can copy paste this API key into the corresponding place here. Now, keep in mind, this is a private key. You should never share this. The only reason it's here in plain text in this video is because um, this is just a test account and I'll delete this account later. And now we just need to install the extension. While we wait, let's configure our settings for the index. So the first thing we'll want to set is the searchable attributes. So if you don't want to be able to search by every single field, like name, country, country code, um, you might want to just set one specific searchable attribute. So we're going to set name for now. OK, so now that our extension is configured, let's take a closer look. So as we can see, it's set up for the Cities collection and also the Cities Algolia index. And we can take a little closer look at this. So what this extension will do is whenever a document in your Cities collection is updated, added, or deleted, it will automatically update your Algolia index. So you don't even have to worry about managing the index yourself. 
as we can see, currently this index is empty. That's because this extension, unfortunately, does not backfill all of your existing data in the collection. However, as soon as we make an update to an existing document, say the population for, for the city in Columbia, we'll see it reflected in the index if we refresh. Perfect. Going back to the extension configuration, here we have instructions for what to do if you want to import an existing collection into your Algolia index. So it's just a matter of running a single script. You'll have to run that command first in the terminal to install npx. Um, if you already have it installed, you don't have to worry about it. Um, this uses Node.js, so you'll want to make sure that npm is installed as well. So it's as simple as running that command. I already have it installed, so I, I won't run it here. Um, the next step is to generate a services file key. So for this, you'll need to go to your service account. If I find it in the settings. And then you'll want to generate a new private key. And now we're ready to run this command that we see on our right here and just edit it a bit. So for the Google application credential, you'll want to pass in the name of the file that you just downloaded, the service account key. And then additionally, you'll want to delete this fields argument, as it says in the extension. So you'll run this command, it'll build, you hit yes when it asks you to import all of your existing data from your Firestore collection, and from that you're totally set. Your Algolia index is configured, all of your data is pushed into the index from your Firestore collection, and you're ready to do searches on Algolia. Okay, so now let's get started in Flutterflow. As you can see, we've defined our schema already with the right collections there for users and cities. And now we'll go into Algoia config. So, as you can see, the instructions aren't there yet. That's actually this very video. You'll see it down there. And what we need to add is the application ID, API key, and of course, which collections are indexed in Algolia. For right now, it's only cities because we only want to be able to search for cities. Um, so the first thing to get is the application ID, which we can get from the URL once again. And we'll paste it in here. And then of course the API key, which is the search API key. So if you go back to API keys, make sure to get this search only API key and use that. Paste it in. And now we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, now let's actually show you how to add Algolia searches in Flutterflow. So there's actually two ways to do this. So as you can see, we've set up a text field, search icon, and you know a, a sample listing of our cities. So one way is by an action. So on the search icon, we can add an Algolia search action. We'll set the collection to cities. And for the search term, we can set it from the text field. There's a few options for setting the location of the search. Um, we'll just leave it as none for now. And of course, we can configure how many results we want it to return. Now, let's just set a variable on this list view. We can call it cities. And the source will be the search results, which will come from the Algolia search. And it's that simple. So now we can set the name field from the city item, which will be just the exact same as you would 
from a Firestore record. And of course we can set you know, the population field in a similar fashion. The other way to add an Algolia search is from a backend query. So we can set the search term to a parameter that we have on the page, which is called search term for now. And we can add an Algolia query in the same way that we would add any other kind of query. Now we might, instead of having a search term, maybe we want to search just by the user's location. So for that, we would set the location to current user location and then set the search radius. So this is in meters. So right now this would be 30 kilometers. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to add search into your Flutterflow project. Easy as that.